Chapter 20 Ye know not what ye ask. One for the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard. Two, and when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. Three, and he went out about the third hour, and saw others standing idle in the marketplace, for and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Five again he went out about the sixth and ninth hour, and did likewise. Six and about the eleventh hour he went out, and found others standing idle, and saith unto them, Why stand ye here all the day idle? Seven they say unto him, Because no man hath hired us. He saith unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatsoever is right, that shall ye receive. Eight so when even was come, the Lord of the vineyard saith unto his steward, Call the laborers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. Nine and when they came that were hired about the eleventh hour, they received every man a penny. Ten, but when the first came, they supposed that they should have received more, and they likewise received every man a penny. Eleven, and when they had received it, they murmured against the good men of the house, twelve saying, These last have wrought but one hour, and thou hast made them equal unto us, which have borne the burden and heat of the day. Thirteen, but he answered one of them, and said, Friend, I do thee no wrong, didst not thou agree with me for a penny? Fourteen, take that thine is, and go thy way. I will give unto this last, even as unto thee. Fifteen, is it not lawful for me to do what I will with mine own? Is thine eye evil, because I am good? Sixteen, so the last shall be first, and the first last, for many be called, but few chosen. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the seventieth week of Daniel ends. Daniel 2 verse 44 And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. A man that is an householder, the householder is God. The laborers are those in Israel at that time that were working for God. His vineyard, the vineyard is Israel, and ultimately the world when the 144,000 go out into it to reach the masses with the gospel of the kingdom. Isaiah 5 verses 1 to 7 KJV Now will I sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well-beloved hath a vineyard in a very fruitful hill, and he fenced it, and gathered out the stones thereof, and planted it with the choicest vine, and built a tower in the midst of it, and also made a wine press therein, and he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem, and men of Judah, judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard. What could have been done more to my vineyard? that I have not done in it. Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes? And now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard, I will take away the hedge thereof, and it shall be eaten up, and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down, and I will lay it waste, it shall not be pruned, nor digged, but there shall come up briars and thorns, I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant plant, and he looked for judgment, but behold oppression, for righteousness, but behold a cry. Matthew 24 verse 14 KJV And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. The hours represent a clock marking Israel's existence. It doesn't matter that someone in Abraham's day has been in Abraham's bosom longer than someone in David's day has, or in Jesus' day, or a tribulation saint. God is fair. 17 And Jesus going up to Jerusalem took the twelve disciples apart in the way, and said unto them, 18 Behold, we go up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man shall be betrayed unto the chief priests and unto the scribes, and they shall condemn him to death, 19 And shall deliver him to the Gentiles to mock, and to scourge, and to crucify him, and the third day he shall rise again. Jesus tells the disciples about his crucifixion and resurrection, while at the same time he allows what he said to be hidden from their understanding until after the resurrection. Luke 9 verse 45 KJV 
But they understood not the saying, and it was hid from them, that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying. Luke 18 verse 34 KJV, And they understood none of these things, and this saying was hid from them, neither knew they the things which were spoken. One of the reasons for this was to prevent the disciples from trying to keep him from his ultimate goal of going to the cross as our substitute. 20 Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with her sons, worshipping him and desiring a certain thing of him. 21 And he said unto her, What wilt thou? She saith unto him, Grant that these my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand, and the other on the left, in thy kingdom. 22 But Jesus answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Are ye able to drink of the cup that I shall drink of, and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They say unto him, We are able. 23 And he saith unto them, Ye shall drink indeed of my cup, and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with, but to sit on my right hand, and on my left, is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. The mother of James and John understood that they were looking for an earthly kingdom. Many reading this today still don't see that because their religious traditions blind them, just as it did Israel 2000 years ago. The cup that I shall drink of, and the baptism that I am baptized with, these referred to Jesus' martyrdom and death. Matthew 26 verse 42 24 And when the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brethren. 25 But Jesus called them unto him, and said, Ye know that the princes of the Gentiles exercise dominion over them, and they that are great exercise authority upon them. 26 But it shall not be so among you, but whosoever will be great among you, let him be your minister. 27 And whosoever will be chief among you, let him be your servant. 28 Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom for many. A ransom for many, the many is a reference to Israel. In Isaiah 53 verse 12 it says he bare the sin of many, Israel. Paul teaches us that Jesus was a ransom for all. 1 Timothy 2 verse 6 KJV Who gave himself a ransom for all, to be testified in due time. Paul's teachings were a mystery, not made known until they were revealed to him after the cross. Romans 16 verse 25 KJV Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my gospel, and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery, which was kept secret since the world began, 1 Corinthians 2 verses 7 to 8 KJV, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden. Wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory, which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. Ephesians 3 verses 1 to 9 KJV, For this cause I Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if ye have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God which is given me to you word, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby, when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs, and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, whereof I was made a minister, according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. Unto me, who am less than the least of all saints, is this grace given, that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to make all men see what is the fellowship of the mystery, which from the beginning of the world hath been hidden God, who created all things by Jesus Christ. 29 And as they departed from Jericho, a great multitude followed him. 30 And, behold, two blind men sitting by the wayside, when they heard that Jesus passed by, cried out, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. 31 And the multitude rebuked them, because they should hold their peace, but they cried the more, saying, Have mercy on us, O Lord, thou son of David. 32 And Jesus stood still, and called them, and said, What will ye that I shall do unto you? 33 They say unto him, Lord, 
that our eyes may be opened. 34 So Jesus had compassion on them and touched their eyes, and immediately their eyes received sight, and they followed him. Isaiah 42 verse 7 KJV To open the blind eyes, to bring out the prisoners from the prison, and them that sit in darkness out of the prison house. Chapter 21 Behold thy king cometh unto thee. 1. And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethphage, unto the Mount of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, two saying unto them, Go into the village over against you, and straightway ye shall find an ass tied, and a colt with her, loose them, and bring them unto me. 3. And if any man say aught unto you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straightway he will send them. Bethphage, a city on the Mount of Olives just across the Kidron Valley from Jerusalem. For all this was done, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Five tell ye the daughter of Shaun, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek, and sitting upon an ass, and a colt the foal of an ass. Zechariah 9 verse 9 KJV Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion, shout, O daughter of Jerusalem, behold, thy king cometh unto thee, he is just, and having salvation, lowly, and riding upon an ass, and upon a colt the foal of an ass. 6 And the disciples went, and did as Jesus commanded them, 7 And brought the ass, and the colt, and put on them their clothes, and they set him thereon. 8 And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way, others cut down branches from the trees, and strawed them in the way. 9 And the multitudes that went before, and that followed, cried, saying, Hosanna to the Son of David, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna to the Son of David, Hosanna means deliverance. The phrase, the Son of David, meant that Jesus was the heir to David's throne. Psalm 118 verse 26 KJV Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord, we have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. 10. And when he was come into Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? 11. And the multitude said, This is Jesus the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. The prophet of Nazareth of Galilee, Nazareth was a city in the Galilee region where Jesus lived for about 25 years. Jesus spent most of his time in the Galilee region, and therefore many people in Jerusalem had never seen him, so once they realized who he was, the crowds began to grow in support. 12 And Jesus went into the temple of God and cast out all them that sold and bought in the temple, and overthrew the tables of the money changers, and the seats of them that sold doves. 13 And said unto them, It is written, My house shall be called the house of prayer, but ye have made it a den of thieves. Isaiah 56 verse 7 KJV Even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon mine altar, for mine house shall be called an house of prayer for all people. Them that sold and bought in the temple, animals were being sold and bought for a price contrary to the scriptures that commanded that they were to bring their own animals to sacrifice. The money changers, they would take the people's Roman money and exchange it for temple shekels at a profit to them. 14 And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and he healed them. 15 And when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did, and the children crying in the temple, and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were sore displeased. 16 And said unto him, Hearest thou what these say? And Jesus saith unto them, Yea, have ye never read, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast perfected praise? 17 And he left them and went out of the city into Bethany, and he lodged there. Psalm 8 verse 2 KJV Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. The son of David, Jesus' title verifying that he was the rightful descendant to sit on David's throne as Israel's king. They were sore displeased, the chief priests and the scribes were sore displeased because they were envious. Mark 15 verse 10 KJV For he knew that the chief priests had delivered him for envy. Bethany was next to Bethpage and Jerusalem on the Mount of Olives. The fig tree withered away. 
18 now in the morning as he returned into the city, he hungered. 19 and when he saw a fig tree in the way, he came to it and found nothing thereon, but leaves only, and said unto it, Let no fruit grow on thee henceforward forever. And presently the fig tree withered away. 20 and when the disciples saw it, they marveled, saying, How soon is the fig tree withered away? 21 Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, If ye have faith, and doubt not, ye shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. 22 And all things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. The fig tree withered away. Israel is often referred to as a fig tree in the scriptures. This is a prophetic pronouncement upon Israel's spiritual decline as they fall due to their unbelief. Luke 13 verses 6 to 9 KJV. He spake also this parable, a certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none, cut it down, why cumbereth it the ground? And he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it, and dung it, and if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. Romans 11 verses 11 to 12 KJV, I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their false salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. All things, whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing, ye shall receive. The twelve had been given power by Christ for fulfilling God's will concerning the kingdom. The reason why we don't have that power today is because we are not apostles in Israel's kingdom. We cannot make God do something today for us that he promised to do for someone else in scripture during a different age. We are not Israel under their kingdom program, we are the church, which is Christ's body, and we are under grace. Romans 6 verses 14 to 15 KJV For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin, because we are not under the law? but under grace? God forbid. 23 And when he was come into the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching, and said, By what authority doest thou these things? And who gave thee this authority? 24 And Jesus answered and said unto them, I also will ask you one thing, which if ye tell me, I and likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. 25 The baptism of John Whence, was it, from heaven, or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say, from heaven, he will say unto us, Why did ye not then believe him? 26 But if we shall say, of men, we fear the people, for all hold John as a prophet. 27 And they answered Jesus, and said, We cannot tell. And he said unto them, Neither tell I you by what authority I do these things. By what authority doest thou these things? The things mentioned here are the casting out the money changers and his teaching. John 5 verses 26 to 27 KJV For as the Father hath life in himself, so hath he given to the Son to have life in himself, and hath given him authority to execute judgment also, because he is the Son of Man. Matthew 7 verse 29 KJV, for he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Luke 9 verse 1 KJV, then he called his twelve disciples together, and gave them power and authority over all devils, and to cure diseases. The baptism of John, whence, was it? From heaven, or of men, Jesus asked them this question because he knew they rejected the counsel of God being not baptized of John. Luke 7 verse 29 And all the people that heard him and the publicans justified God being baptized with the baptism of John. 30 But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves being not baptized of him. The parable of the two sons. 28 But what think ye? 
A certain man had two sons, and he came to the first, and said, Son, go work today in my vineyard. Twenty-nine he answered and said, I will not, but afterward he repented, and went. Thirty and he came to the second, and said likewise. And he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Thirty-one whether of them twain did the will of his father? They say unto him, The first. Jesus saith unto them, Verily I say unto you, that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. 32 For John came unto you in the way of righteousness, and ye believed him not, but the publicans, and the harlots believed him, and ye, when ye had seen it, repented not afterward, that ye might believe him. A certain man had two sons, Jesus told them that John's baptism was from heaven. The first son represented the publicans and harlots who repented and believed John. The second son represented the chief priests and the elders who claimed to do the will of the Father, but they did not believe the counsel of God, being not baptized of John. Luke 7 verses 29 to 30 KJV And all the people that heard him and the publicans justified God, being baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. The Parable of the Husbandman 33 Hear another parable. There was a certain householder, which planted a vineyard, and hedged it round about, and digged a wine press in it, and built a tower, and let it out to husbandmen, and went into a far country. Isaiah 5 verses 1 to 7 KJV A certain householder, God Matthew 13 verses 27 and 52 KJV So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then hath it tares? Then said he unto them, Therefore every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. A vineyard, this is speaking of Israel. Isaiah 5 verse 1 Now will I sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved touching his vineyard. My well-beloved hath a vineyard in a very fruitful hill, too, and he fenced it, and gathered out the stones thereof, and planted it with the choicest vine, and built a tower in the midst of it, and also made a wine press therein, and he looked that it should bring forth grapes, and it brought forth wild grapes. 3 And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem, and men of Judah, Judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard. For what could have been done more to my vineyard, that I have not done in it? Wherefore, when I looked that it should bring forth grapes, brought it forth wild grapes? Five and now go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard, I will take away the hedge thereof, and it shall be eaten up, and break down the wall thereof, and it shall be trodden down, six and I will lay it waste, it shall not be pruned, nor digged, but there shall come up briars and thorns, I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. 7 For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the men of Judah his pleasant plant, and he looked for judgment, but behold oppression, for righteousness, but behold a cry, and hedged it round about. The hedge was the middle wall of partition of circumcision that was erected between Jew and Gentile in Genesis 17, and digged a wine press in it. A wine press is what you use to get the juice out of the grapes. He expected to get fruits of righteousness because he was building Israel to get a harvest and built a tower, 2 Samuel 22 verses 3 and 51 KJV, the God of my rock, in him will I trust, he is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior, thou savest me from violence. He is the tower of salvation for his king and sheweth mercy to his anointed, unto David, and to his seed forevermore, and let it out to husbandmen, the leaders of Israel. Mark 12 verses 1 to 9 KJV And he began to speak unto them by parables. A certain man planted a vineyard, and set an hedge about it, and digged a place for the wine fat, and built a tower, and let it out to husbandmen, and went into a far country. And at the season he sent to the husbandman a servant, that he might receive from the husbandman of the fruit of the vineyard. And they caught him, and beat him, and sent him away empty. 
And again, he sent unto them another servant, and at him they cast stones, and wounded him in the head, and sent him away shamefully handled. And again, he sent another, and him they killed, and many others, beating some, and killing some. Having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent him also last unto them, saying, They will reverence my son. But those husbandmen said among themselves, This is the heir, come, let us kill him, and the inheritance shall be ours. And they took him, and killed him, and cast him out of the vineyard. What shall therefore the Lord of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the husbandmen, and will give the vineyard unto others. Luke 20 verses 9 to 16 KJV Then began he to speak to the people this parable, A certain man planted a vineyard, and led it forth to husbandmen, and went into a far country for a long time. And at the season he sent a servant to the husbandmen, that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard, but the husbandmen beat him and sent him away empty. And again he sent another servant, and they beat him also, and entreated him shamefully, and sent him away empty. And again he sent a third, and they wounded him also and cast him out. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? I will. Send my beloved son, it may be they will reverence him when they see him. But when the husbandmen saw him, they reasoned among themselves, saying, This is the heir, come, let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. So, they cast him out of the vineyard, and killed him. What therefore shall the Lord of the vineyard do unto them? He shall come and destroy these husbandmen, and shall give the vineyard to others. And when they heard it, they said, God forbid, and went into a far country, Jesus ascended to heaven after his crucifixion. 34 And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen, that they might receive the fruits of it. The time of the fruit drew near, the kingdom was at hand, where there would be a lot of fruit produced. He sent his servants to the husbandmen, the servants are the prophets that God sent to Israel, while the husbandmen were the leaders of the nation of Israel that persecuted them. That they may receive the fruits of it, righteousness is seen typified as fruit in the four gospels. 35 And the husbandmen took his servants, and beat one, and killed another, and stoned another. 36 Again, he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. 37 But last of all he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. 38 But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir, come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. 39 And they caught him, and cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. His son, the Son of God. 40 When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? 41 They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Other husbandmen, the little flock in, Luke 12 verse 32 KJV, Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. 42 Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures, the stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner, this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes? Psalm 118 verses 22 to 23 KJV The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, it is marvelous in our eyes. 43 Therefore say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. A nation bringing forth the fruits thereof, since the promise of the kingdom was made with Israel, God had to give it to the nation of Israel. Luke 12 verse 32 KJV Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. He gave it to the believing remnant in Israel, called the little flock by Jesus, not to the unbelieving who were uncircumcised in heart. 44 And whosoever shall fall on the stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. 45 And when the chief priests and Pharisees had heard his parables, they perceived that he spake of them.
46, but when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude because they took him for a prophet. God sent many servants, prophets, to try to get Israel to return to him and to the covenant he had made with them at Sinai, but they killed most of them, and finally he sent them his son and him they also killed. He then let out his vineyard to the remnant, the apostles and disciples, who did produce fruit in its season. They will again in the tribulation period with the two witnesses and the 144,000. It was to them, the little flock, that the kingdom was given. Chapter 22 The wedding is ready. One and Jesus answered and spake unto them again by parables, and said, To the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king, which made a marriage for his son, three and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the seventieth week of Daniel ends. Daniel 2 verse 44 And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. A certain king, God. A marriage, the marriage supper of the Lamb. His son, Jesus. His servants, the prophets. Them that were bidden, the nation and its leaders. For again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready, come unto the marriage. 5. But they made light of it, and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. 6. And the remnant took his servants, and entreated them spitefully, and slew them. The remnant, a small group of bad Israelites. This is not the little flock of Luke 12 verse 32. 7. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies, and destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. Their city, Jerusalem. 8. Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. 10. So those servants went out into the highways, and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Guests, the little flock that believed. 11. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. 12. And he saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. 13. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 14. For many are called, but few are chosen. A man, he represents those who try to enter their own way without faith in the Messiah. A wedding garment, fine linen, clean and white, Revelation 19 verses 7 to 9 KJV, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. Outer darkness, hell. Many are called, all of Israel was called to the marriage. Few are chosen, the ones who made their robes white in the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 7 verse 14 KJV And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. 15 Then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk. 16 And they sent out unto him their disciples with the Herodians, saying, Master, we know that thou art true, and teachest the way of God in truth, neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the person of men. 17 Tell us therefore, what thinkest thou? Is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar, or not? 18 But Jesus perceived their wickedness, and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? 19 Shew me the tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. 20 And he saith unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? 
Twenty-one, they say unto him, Caesar's. Then saith he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Twenty-two, when they had heard these words, they marveled, and left him, and went their way. By Jesus answering them he would leave them no excuses for their unbelief. Jesus knew that they understood the law, and he also knew that they would obey, render to Rome ahead of God. 23 The same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection, and asked him, 24 saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife, and raise up seed unto his brother. 25 Now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he had married a wife, deceased, and, having no issue, left his wife unto his brother, 26 Likewise the second also, and the third, unto the seventh. 27 And last of all the woman died also. 28 Therefore in the resurrection whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. 29 Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. 30 For in the resurrection they neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. 31 But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, 32 I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? Exodus 3 verse 6 KJV Moreover he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. 33 And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. Jesus answers their questions about marriage in the kingdom, which they should have known as leaders of Israel. In the kingdom, Old Testament believers will be resurrected to live on the earth. They will not be in a marriage relationship during the kingdom. They will be as the angels which are in heaven. They will not be angels, but will be like the angels in their status. Others born in the kingdom will obviously be able to have families. Then Jesus deals with their bigger problem, they did not believe the resurrection. God said, I am the God of Abraham, not, I was the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, meaning that all three were alive in paradise awaiting resurrection. The Sadducees believed that when you died you were dead. They even used the scriptures to try to prove that and to disprove the opposite. 34 But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. 35 Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, and saying, 36 Master, which is the great commandment in the law. 37 Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. Deuteronomy 6 verses 4 to 5 KJV Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. 38 This is the first and great commandment. 39 And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Leviticus 19 verse 18 KJV Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, I am the Lord. 40 On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. 41 While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, 42 saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. 43 He saith unto them, How then doth David in spirit call him Lord, saying, 44 The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool? Psalm 110 verse 1 KJV A Psalm of David The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The son of David, Jesus' title verifying that he was the rightful descendant to sit on David's throne as Israel's king. 45 If David then call him Lord, how is he, his son? 
46 And no man was able to answer him a word, neither durst any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. Chapter 23 Whatsoever they bid you observe. One then spake Jesus to the multitude, and to his disciples, two saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, three all therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, but do not ye after their works, for they say, and do not. Whatsoever they bid you observe, Jesus was a law-abiding Jew, who demanded the same of his followers. Galatians 4 verse 4 KJV But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his Son, made of a woman, made under the law, we are not under the Mosaic law today, we are under grace. Romans 6 verses 14 to 15 KJV For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. For for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. 5. But all their works they do for to be seen of men, they make broad their phylacteries, and enlarge the borders of their garments, 6. And love the uppermost rooms at feasts, and the chief seats in the synagogues, 7. And greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. 8. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. 9. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. 10. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. Be not ye called rabbi, the word rabbi means master. Jesus forbade calling spiritual leaders master or father. John 1 verse 38. Jesus did allow his disciples to call him rabbi and master because he was both. They and we are not. John 13 verse 13 Ye call me Master and Lord, and ye say well, for so I am. Call no man your father upon the earth, this is speaking in a religious sense, it is okay to call your earthly father your father, but not a priest. God alone is deserves that title. 11 But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. 12 And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. 13 But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. The kingdom of heaven, the future kingdom promised to Israel, which is set up after the seventieth week of Daniel ends. Daniel 2 verse 44 And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. 14 Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. 15 Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. 16 Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing, but whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. 17 Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater, the gold, or the temple that sanctifieth the gold? 18 And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing, but whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. 19 Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater, the gift, or the altar that sanctifieth the gift. 20 Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it, and by all things thereon. 21 And whoso shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. 22 And he that shall swear by heaven, sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. 23 Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith, these ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. 24 Ye blind guides, which strain at a gnat, and swallow a camel. 25 Woe unto you, 
scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. 26 Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. 27 Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones, and of all uncleanness. Sepulchres, Graves 28 Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. 29 Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! Because ye build the tombs of the prophets, and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous, 30 And say, If we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. 31 Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves, that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Woe unto you, grief. This was the last of eight woes pronounced upon the scribes and Pharisees for their hypocrisy. They were blind leaders of the blind. 32 Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. 33 Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? 34 Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets, and wise men, and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues, and persecute them from city to city. 35 That upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias son of Barachias, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Zechariah 1 verse 1 KJV In the eighth month, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord unto Zechariah, the son of Barachia, the son of Iddo the prophet, saying, 36 Verily I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. 37 O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets, and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. 38 Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. 39 For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Psalm 118 verse 26 KJV Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord, we have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. The temple was left desolate, and Jesus departed and went eastward to the Mount of Olives, which is the same thing that happened when God's glory departed from the temple in Ezekiel 10 verse 18. When Jesus entered Jerusalem's temple area in Matthew 21 verses 9 to 15 multitudes proclaimed, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, but when he comes back all of Israel will proclaim it. Chapter 24 He that shall endure unto the end. One in Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. Two in Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. While on the mountain Jesus tells his disciples of the temple's soon destruction, 70 AD. Then before they have a chance to respond to his shocking statement, he deliberately walks away from them. There is an intentional gap of silence between this verse and the next one when Jesus resumed his teaching upon the Mount of Olives. He first ascended into the Kidron Valley, passing through the Garden of Gethsemane before ascending the steep trail up to the top of the Mount of Olives. This is where the disciples eventually catch up to him and they are able to finally ask him about his previous pronouncement. 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? The Mount of Olives When the disciples asked Jesus these questions, they were looking for the kingdom. Jesus tells them of the trials that shall come upon the nation of Israel during the tribulation period, the time of Jacob's trouble. Jeremiah 30 verse 7 KJV Alas! For that day is great, so that none is like it, it is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. 
Jesus skips over the whole dispensation of grace for us today and begins to tell his disciples about the prophesied tribulation period that would have to come before the kingdom would be set up. He would not reveal the mystery of the dispensation of grace to them. Paul alone would receive those revelations a few years later. For in Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Five for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Six and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Seven for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes, in divers places. Eight all these are the beginning of sorrows. Nine then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Ten and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Eleven and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Twelve and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Thirteen but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. He that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Those believers who endure unto the end of the tribulation period without taking the mark of the beast will be saved and they will enter their kingdom. This is not doctrine for the dispensation of grace today. Romans 11 verse 26 And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, There shall come out of Shaun the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. 27 For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. Psalm 14 verse 7 KJV Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion! When the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice, and Israel shall be glad. Jeremiah 31 verse 31 KJV Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel, and with the house of Judah. 14 And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. The gospel of the kingdom, this message will again be preached to the whole world in the tribulation period by the 144,000. Then shall the end come, the end of Satan's rule as the God of this world, and of man's rule under him. It will mark the beginning of the kingdom, where Christ will rule and reign for a thousand years. 15 When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso read death, let him understand. 16 Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. 17 Let him which is on the house stop not come down to take anything out of his house. 18 Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. 19 And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. 20 But pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. 21 For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. 22 And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake those days shall be shortened. Daniel 11 verse 31 KJV An arm shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that mocketh desolate. The abomination of desolation, it will be in the holy place, a rebuilt temple, and Judea is mentioned along with the Sabbath day. The temple and the Sabbath day are parts of the Jewish system of worship and do not belong to us today in the body of Christ. All of chapters 24 and 25 are for Israel in the tribulation period. The elect sake, the believing remnant of Israel that will enter into their kingdom without dying. 23 Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. 24 For there shall arise false Christs, and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. 25 Behold, I have told you before. 26 Wherefore if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth, behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not.
27. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 28. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. These last 14 verses answered the first question of the disciples of when these things shall be. Now Jesus will answer the second question about the sign of his coming. 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken, Joel 2 verses 30 to 31 KJV, and I will shew wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. Revelation 12 verse 4 KJV, and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. 30 And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. 31 And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. His elect. These are those that believe during the tribulation period, and who are gathered together to enter into their kingdom. 32 Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. 33 So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. The fig tree, it is figurative throughout scripture of believing Israel. It will start to put forth leaves in the tribulation period so that it can start producing fruits, souls, for the kingdom. The 144,000 are the leaves that produced fruit in those days. 34 Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass, till all these things be fulfilled. This generation shall not pass, Jesus was telling the Jews in his day that the generation that is alive during the tribulation period is the generation that would be there to usher in the kingdom at his second coming. Jesus was speaking about his coming physically to set up his kingdom and not about Israel becoming a nation in 1948. That generation has come and gone. 35 heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. 36 But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Heaven and earth shall pass away, Revelation 21 verse 1 KJV, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. Of that day and hour knoweth no man, this is a prophecy of the second coming of Christ to set up his kingdom. This is not a teaching about the rapture, which was still a mystery until it was revealed to the Apostle Paul. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 51 KJV Behold, I shew you a mystery, we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. 37 But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 38 For as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, 39 And knew not until the flood came, and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Noah and his family were prepared and they knew time was running out, but the lost didn't know that, and they went about their daily life as if Noah's family were crazy. Just like they will be doing during the tribulation period, even with all the signs that the people of Noah's day never had. 40 Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. 41 Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. 42 Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. The one shall be taken, the ones taken here, are taken to judgment. The ones who remain, go into their kingdom, and are placed over things to rule with Christ. This is a rapture that you don't want to be in. No one in the body of Christ will be in this rapture to judgment. 43 But know this, that if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. 44 Therefore be ye also ready, 
for in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh. 45 Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? 46 Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord when he cometh shall find so doing. 47 Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. 48 But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, 49 And shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, 50 The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. And in an hour that he is not aware of, 51 And shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The faithful believers in the tribulation period will not be caught off guard when the Lord returns, because they have been following along in the Bible and seeing all the things come to pass, and they will know that their master is soon coming. Mm -hmm.